Don't move. Is anything to put in your stick like a motion? Are you standing? Yes, sir. Okay. Standing handy? Yes, sir. I think me and you got a date tonight. Oh. Huh? You know anything about that? No, sir. You, you don't know? What are you doing here? Come to get a drink. Come to get a drink? Yes, sir. Don't forget to go down the fishing hole. Why? Oh, okay. Well, I'm supposed to go with you. I'm the young lady you've been talking to on the, uh, on Facebook. Okay. Well, before we go any further, I'm going to read something to you, okay? Just leave your hands up there where they are. Mr. Haney. What's your name? Haney? Stanley Haney? Mr. Haney, you have a right to remain silent, not making any statement at all. Any statement that you make may be used as evidence against you at your trial. Any statement that you make may be used as evidence against you in court. You have a right to have a lawyer present to you or during any questioning if you wish. If you are unable to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you at any time. You have a right to terminate the interview at any time. You understand your rights? I just yes, explained sir. to you, Mr. Haney. You have your rights in mind. You want to talk to me about what's going on tonight? Like I said, I've been talking to you on the phone. I'm, I'm the young lady that you've been talking to for the last couple of days, okay? So, like I said... We got a date. I'm sorry I didn't didn't dress a little bit better, but I did what I could do. Okay? Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Right now you're under arrest for online solicitation of a minor. You understand? Okay. Is this your truck? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have a, a cell phone in there? Yeah, I got it in my pocket. In your pocket? Okay. This is the same phone that you were talking to me on just like less than a minute ago? Yes. Okay. So you were talking to me, correct? Okay. Having you right your mind, you want to talk to me about what's going on today? I was just being stupid, crazy. I was you just, just being, being dumb? Being stupid. Okay, okay. Um, just being stupid, I believe. Okay. And like I said, I've been talking to you for the last couple of days, so, you know, uh, you never, never know who you're talking to. The thing is, is you agreed to have sex with me down here at the river, is that correct? I talked about it, yes, so I did, but I was... Okay. Are you are you wearing underwear right now? No, sir. You're not. Okay, because I asked you not to wear any underwear. When well, I never do anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes it probably a little easier then. Okay. But like I said, right now you've been uh, under arrest for uh, online solicitation of a minor. Okay. Okay. This is your truck. That's my dad's truck. It's my dad's name, but I bought it from. Him. You bought it from? Him? Is it yours outright? It's mine all the way out, but it's registered here. But it's your truck. Yes. How long you been driving it? Maybe four months. Four months. Your dad gave it to you for exclusively for I you to drive. You bought the phone just outright. Yes, okay. Okay. Fair enough. What we're we gonna do? We're gonna take you back to the office. Uh, I want. I want to. If it's okay with you, I want to sit down and talk to you. Okay. But fair enough. Okay. Phone slip. Fifteen.
saying it's well, yeah. saying it's probably your first and last name and your title who you're with. Constable Kenneth Rowdy Hayden. I'm the constable here in Montgomery County, Precinct 4. Uh, okay, tell me, uh, how do you kind of end up tracking this guy down or end up meeting up with him today? Kind of give well, us some background on this. About story. a week ago, we were contacted by a concerned mother here in the precinct. Uh, she was concerned that her daughter was being contacted online uh, by a person who, um, who was older and that um, was talking inappropriately to her. Uh, the daughter is a 15-year-old, and the uh, um, suspect in this case is about 35 years old. Okay. Were you kind of alarmed by some of the things he was saying? We, um, well, immediately we took over this girl's Facebook page. Uh, we continued to communicate with the suspect um, on Facebook, and we continued um, to remind him time after time that you know he was talking to, to a 15-year-old girl. Um, the the dialogue and conversation that he was um, that he was continuing to make became extremely vulgar. Uh, he, had, he had described in detail the uh, sexual acts that he wanted to perform on this female. Um, throughout the week, we continued to communicate with him. Up until today, we were able to make arrangements at a pre-disclosed um, location for him to meet this 15-year-old and, um, and carry out this sexual act. So does this, is this 15-year-old real girl or it's a made-up page? It's not a made-up page. It's a, it, this is a real-life person um, that, that he was contacting, that he was attempting to lure uh, into his arms. Attempting to lure. Okay. And now her family cooperated with you guys? Her family cooperated and um, was, was able to um, provide us information and turn over her Facebook page to us. Now, as you're communicating at, at any time, did you say, you know, we're with Precinct 4, or did you pretend to be the girl the whole time, or how did that work? We're, we never disclosed um, who, who we were. Um, as far as he knew, he, he was continuing to talk to this 15-year-old girl that he originally contacted. Right, so he kind of just tracked her down or whatever on Facebook, or? He tracked he her down and, um, and befriended her through Facebook. Um, and he, made it, he made it known that uh, he, was, he was an older gentleman, 35 years old. Um, and, and she continued to make, and, and we continued to make him aware that, you know, she was only 15. 15, okay. What are you guys thinking now, kind of knowing that, that you kind of sent a strong message to this guy? Are you hoping that you sent a strong message to other people like him, other, you know, other maybe sex offenders who might be thinking of doing something like this? Or? We are, um, you know, we're, we're fairly new to working uh, the, the sex crimes. I've committed to doing that, uh, to working these type of crimes in our precinct. Um, this this one in particular is is alarming to us because the subject actually made attempts to come and meet the the person and um, you know we feel like we prevented a sexual assault from happening today. That's big. That's big. See, I I thought that it was just a made up person. I didn't realize. Now this was a, this was an actual live person who uh, who this subject um, came to this location. Uh, with full intentions of having sex with this girl. Is she from Southeast Texas? I know can't you know she's a minor. She's from Texas. here in the precinct, so, uh, right, so in the would, community. So he would have access, close act. He could drive to her easily. He could drive. He he was about 15 minutes away. He lives across the county line, over into Liberty County, um, about 15 minutes away. And um, he you know he left he left his house you know and came to this location with the full intentions of um, having sexual intercourse with this minor. Uh, the subject's name is. Uh, uh, Stanley Haney, he's 35 years old. He's facing two counts of online solicitation of a minor. We have another count on him. The second, the second count of online solicitation of a minor stems from uh, him actually making contact with a 13-year-old um, who was actually another police agency in our precinct. Um, he made contact with this person. Um, and is this a real person or is this was a made-up one? This was a made-up person. Okay. Um, it was actually a police officer that um, he, he was making contact with. He believed that this person was 13. He made a prearranged um, a date uh, to meet this person. What, if, what agency is that with? Is that with Liberty County? That was with the Precinct 3 Constable's Office here in Montgomery County, Constable Ryan Gable's office. Precinct 3. So, so this guy, it seems like he's kind of like a serial whatever. This is not his first encounter with a sex crime. He is uh, currently a registered sex offender. Um, he had a case back in uh, 1995, he had an indecency with a child that um, he was he pled guilty and was found guilty. Comes up as sexual assault of a child on records. Is that the same thing? He made sexual contact with a child, and so he's um, convicted of that. I don't have all the per, the details of that like case, that. but uh, he is a registered sex offender in, in this community. Um, 
stemming from that case. Now, the 15-year-old girl's family, have you been in touch with them? Have they expressed relief? Have they expressed any emotion over this? I'm sure they're kind of relieved to know that, that you guys took action and that, you know, this guy's uh, We, kind we of spoke going. to the mother tonight, and she's, um, she's extremely relieved um, uh, that, that, that this guy is off the streets and in custody. Uh, Mr. Haney is the type of person that we warn our children about every day. Um, this, he's the type of the person that um, parents, when, they, when they're at a park, they warn their children to stay away from people like this because he is the type of person that preys on young children in our community, and he's the type of person that will physically carry out uh, an act to, to get his hands on your children. What do you think the message to parents? What, what more can parents do? Is it, is it know what your kids are doing online, or what, what kind of message would you want to pass along to parents? Certainly, we want, we want parents to monitor their children's activity uh, when they're on Facebook, any, kind, any type of social media, uh, monitor what their kids are doing. Um, you know, we're extremely proud of this young girl for um, bringing this to her parents' attention. Um, you know, she's a, she's a true trooper for what she did by, by bringing this to adults' attention, and um, we were able to take a child predator off the street today. Right, right. Um, so the parents had told you guys? The, the parents contacted us in the beginning, yes. Okay. Um, this Precinct 3 thing happened around this same the, time frame? The Precinct 3, we work in conjunction with Precinct 3 Constable's Office, and um, their investigator worked with our investigator on this case, and uh, they were simultaneously con making contact with this subject. Had you told them first, hey, we have this thing going on with this 15-year-old, see if this guy will take the bait and something else, or was that kind of how it worked? Or? Yes. All right. Not that that's even for air, but that's just for me to yeah. understand how all this works. Okay. We're from here up. All right. Yeah, Rowdy, I need to <laughs> come too. Okay. Kept looking over that direction. Stay right where you're at. Right where you're at. Just. <laughs> First of all, your, your name? Constable Kenneth Rowdy Hayden. Rowdy, kind of look over toward me here. Night. Just look over toward him. Little what, little tell me a little bit about tonight. Well, tonight we were um, we, we were able to arrest an uh, individual who has been trying to make contact with a 15-year-old female in our community. Um, uh, about a week ago, we were contacted by a mother here in our precinct who was concerned that her 15-year-old daughter had been contacted by, a, by an older gentleman in the community and um, the, the, the nature of the conversation became sexual and at that time the mother contacted us and we were able to take over the 15-year-old's Facebook and operate it as if it were still the 15-year-old. Um, we were continued to make dialogue with this subject. And throughout the week, um, the, the nature of the conversation continued to be more in sexual. Um, he described in detail what he wanted to do to this, to this girl. Uh, throughout our investigation, we learned that he is uh, currently a registered sex offender uh, in, in um, Liberty County. Uh, this subject lives in Liberty County, about 15 minutes away from where the girl lives. Uh, today, we made uh, arrangements for this subject to meet us. Uh, and by us, I mean the 15-year-old girl. Uh, he, he was able to um, agree to come meet, and, and, and when he came and meet, he was expecting sexual intercourse. Um, we met at a location in East Montgomery County and was able to take the subject into custody. He didn't resist or anything like that? He didn't resist. Um, he, he, he came in peacefully. Did he say anything about what, what he'd done, or did he realize it, or when did, when did he really realize it? He just, um, you know, he, he expressed that he made a, a stupid mistake. And this has happened before with him? He is, like I said, he is a uh, registered sex offender. Um, he had a, a prior charge of um, sexual contact with a child uh, back in 1995, which he was um, currently registered for. Okay, tell me a little bit about the investigation. Well, we're, uh, you know, we're new to working these type of uh, sex crimes against children. Um, we're working in conjunction with, conjunction with Constable Ryan Gable over in Precinct 3. Uh, he has an investigator as well as we have an investigator. They work hand in hand uh, on these type of cases. Uh, these cases are, are, are out there everywhere and we're trying to send a message to, um, to the child predators uh, like Mr. Haney. Uh, you know, it's not going to be tolerated in East Montgomery County. What about parents that think their kids are talking to these, these predators or even have any we, inclination yeah. of it or anything else, or some kids come to them, what can they do? The 15-year-old victim in this case, we're, we're extremely proud of her. Uh, she was able to step up and do the right thing. She contacted her parent immediately when, when this, this person befriended her and um, with the nature in which he was talking. She was, um, 
I, you know, I can't speak enough about how brave she was to do that. Um, you know, we encourage all parents to watch what their kids are, are doing on online with the social media. Uh, bring this stuff to our attention when you see it. Uh, this 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 type this subject here is the type of person we warn our, our kids about every day. Um, this is the type of person who, if the opportunity arises, will get his hands on your kids, and and, and bad things will happen. I thought uh, you guys, I mean, they were pretty much set up for this whole thing. Uh, the, the, the pre arranged meeting. Uh, when he, he went there, he was pretty much knew what he was looking for right off the bat. He he showed up at this meeting today with um, every intentions of having sex with a 15 year old. Um, we were assisted today by the Precinct 3 Constable's Office, the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office, the Patton Village Police Department, Liberty County Constable's Office, and the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office. Yeah. Okay. First and last in title. My name's John Jawsline. I'm the constable at Liberty County Precinct 6 Constable. What brought you out here tonight? I received a call from uh, Constable Rowdy Hayden, Montgomery County Precinct 4 Department, and they advised me that they had a sexual predator in our area. That they were working for a sexual predator in our area. Mm -hmm. And what did you find inside? Inside, we were executing a search warrant that was obtained uh, by Precinct View, we uh, found some misdemeanor marijuana in two sides of the mm -hmm. So, do you know anything about their, like, can you speak to anything about their case? Um, you know, this, did you, obviously, you were aware that he was. Oh. His parents Children? Yes, there is a small child. Uh, seven, I believe she's seven years old. And who is, who's, who, who's her parent? Uh, the assailant, the, the suspect that was arrested. Did you find any other evidence against him to add on to that as part of the investigation? They found some data that was obtained for the search warrant and they'll be analyzing it. They, they could put some data on the computers and stuff. And has everybody been cooperating? Yes, it's been very cooperative. And um, has he been, I mean, is he good at, uh, you know, checking in and all that, all the things he's required to do as a registered sex offender? I haven't checked that yet. Uh, I'm going to do that. He was, uh, I believe he was absolutely, we're concerned for our children in this community. Uh, we will definitely keep an eye out on this resident. Two brothers arrested for marijuana? Or one? Yes. Two, yes. but just for marijuana, right? Yes. No, like, arrested. sex kind of crimes no, or anything no like that, right? No sex crimes. Okay. We just was over here on the search line and they obtained some data that they're going to analyze off the computers. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank so much. Oh, that don't look professional. Hey, first of all, your name? John Jocelyn. J-O-S-L-I-N? Yes, sir. John, you're Constable Precinct 6 or in uh, Liberty County? Yes, sir. Tell me a little bit about uh, this evening. What you, you executed a search warrant on the house. What all did you find? Uh, we found a misdemeanor amount of marijuana, and two of, the sus two of the residents were arrested. They admitted to it being theirs. It was in plain view. We were here to assist in a search warrant with Rowdy Hayden, Constable Rowdy Hayden's office, Precinct 4, Montgomery County. Uh, they contacted me and advised me that they were working a case on a sexual predator in my precinct. And uh, I come over here to help them execute a search warrant. What do you think? I mean, you've got a couple of sexual uh, offenders out in this area. Pretty well keep an eye on them out here? We are, and I am working hand-in-hand -hand with uh, 
Constable Rowdy Hayden's office. Uh, we are working some sex crimes right now, internet sex crimes, uh, child pornography, and we'll be uh, arresting some uh, offenders here pretty soon. We're working hand in hand with them. Okay, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you.